and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so do you want to hear a story about my childhood if you don't want to you can skip it but anyways when I was younger when I just started learning programming I really wasn't into programming at all I didn't really feel that you know attached to it I didn't really think I was gonna do it for a living but do you know what was the thing that changed my mind that made me go like wow Programming is amazing. There is literally nothing better. It was getting user input. User input changed basically my entire view of programming. When I was finally allowed, or not allowed, when I finally learned how to get user input, I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. This is what my future is going to be. And today I'm a full stack web developer. But anyways, so today we're going to talk about getting user input user input is user input we get input from the user from let's say the terminal right there so if i want to get the user input from here it would be rather simple so io dot read basically this allows you to get user input i think you can just use it like that and yeah then i can get user input can't really do much of that now can you but it allows you to get user input what we can do is we can actually store this and let's call it ants for like answer or something. Store instead of a variable. And now we can print that variable. Now let's say hello. Now we get hello back. Or let's say print. What is 10 plus 5? My bad. What is 10 plus 5? Now we can actually put it in and we can be like, uh, we just print here, uh, your, I'm looking for backslash here, your answer. And then we can just put here ants. Now what is 10 plus 5? Let's say it's 9. Your answer is 9. What is 10 plus 5? Let's say it's 15. Your answer is 15. There we go. We got user input. That was rather simple. But what if we wanted to get this input right next to this output? How do we do that? Because print statements, they give you a new line by default. So I have to insert it right there. So what if I want to do something like this? And uh, go input. 10 plus 5. Let's say we made a math game and how will we how will we do this? Because now if we were to run this, yeah, we're still rather close, but the problem is we're starting the next line. I don't want to do that. I, I want to start here. I want to start right next to it. Well, one thing we can do is we can actually just say io.write. For the most part, you won't really use either write and we're not going to cover it too much right now, but it's just a way to get to put something on the screen and it doesn't give you a new line by default so now it can be like 15. there we go so let's create a little game with this while we're learning how to get user input so let's say we want to get that value so let's let's actually go like this num uh, local num1 num2 and we're going to make that equal to 10 and 5 and that, that can even make it more useful now we can do this we can go here and say num1 and here we can say plus and then here we can just num dot dot and say num2 basically the same thing but here we can actually change the number values so we're going to create a game and it's going to be fun and then we want the user to get the input. Now, if we're just going to basically do it right now, we get 10 plus 5 and we're going to write 10. But how would the user know they're right? Let's say they're in grade 1 and they, they are just learning how to add and subtract and stuff like that. Well, what we can do is we can actually create an if statement. So we can say if. And actually we can go like here and say local true. Uh, true ans for a true answer and here we can make that equal to num1 plus num2 so now we know what the answer is the computer knows what the answer is what we should expect so we can say 
f and we can say ans but take note we want to compare numbers no not strings so we actually have to say to number and here we can say ans so if answer is equal to the true answer like what we can really expect then print you are correct cool but what if you're wrong so then we can say else and here we can print this and say your answer and just put the answer there is incorrect try again okay now let's try it uh, seven what my answer seven is incorrect let's try it again 15 i am correct the answer was 15. we basically created a basic input game so that is how to get user input thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and if you like this video please like and subscribe and i will see you again in the next lua tutorial